Yo, what it do, man? This is Grindface and the therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. I'm Sneer. We've been together for 28 years, um, married for 23, 24, but who's counting? This is episode, damn, 19. Um, and we're going we gonna to get on um, managing stress on this episode, man. Managing stress. How do you manage your stress? Do you smoke some weed? Do you drink some liquor? Do you cuss somebody out? Let's go on managing stress. So then, how you manage your stress? The way I manage my she stress. She gonna say pray. I know. <laughs> Goddamn. But I gotta be honest though, because the, that's the only thing, honestly, that that calms me. Like when I'm going through something, you know, talking to people, that's cool. But that's not gonna, that's not gonna put me at complete peace. So when I'm stressed, I gotta get quiet. I gotta get in God's face. I got to, you know, get before God and I got to let God speak to me and tell me direction and give me insight because I can have a problem and talking to somebody a million different ways. That's not helping me solve my problem. You know what I mean? I need, I'm, I'm a very specific, direct person. I like details. I don't like to hope. I don't believe in hope. I like definitive answers, right? And so just talking to someone, yeah, it can give me some insight, but God is going to give me a definitive answer. And so for me, that's the only thing that puts my mind at peace, you know, when I'm dealing with stress. And so you, you the same thing for all your stress problems? I don't get stressed out a lot. If I'm stressed, it's something, it's not a little situation. It's not, oh, you know. Um, somebody hit my car. Like if, if, if it's like coming to the point of stress, it's something big. It's not something little. So if I get to that, cause I'm not really phased by a lot. I'm not really bothered by a lot. I don't really have a stressful life. So if it's something that's bothering me, it's not something that is small. You know, I don't get stressed out a lot. It's funny because a certain certain people feel like certain situations you go through, it should affect you a certain way because it will affect them. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Um, like the the well, who was it? Some somebody that told you like the um going to jail wasn't oh the psychologist like, yeah like that wasn't a, a big thing to you but it, you know what I'm saying it's just so I didn't get a job. <laughs> I didn't get a job in probation. I was in my twenties because there is a test called the MMPI. Um, go look it up. But anyways, I was going to describe it, but I'm not. And so she asked me based on my answer on the test, said, well, you, you were incarcerated. That wasn't like traumatizing to you. And I said, no, I was at peace. And this is why I think some tests and the person interpreted, like interpreting the test and the person that is basically speaking to you can be skewed or flawed because it's based on their experience. So because jail would have been traumatizing to her, she assumed that it would be traumatizing to me. But let me tell you what 60 days in jail did for me. I had an assault with a deadly weapon when I was 14. I didn't go to jail until I was 20. It, it taught me patience. It taught me peace and it increased my prayer life. And so I think if I, I wasn't walking in uh with God, you know, in the person that I was, then of course it would have been stressful. But I've always been a believer, you know, 12 years old. I was raised as a Muslim my whole life. And my dad got saved when I was 12. And I started reading the Quran. I started reading the Bible, comparing and contrasting. I had a lot of questions. I was questioning my parents, reading for myself, you know, um, and I came to terms with having a relationship with God. But when I got older, you know, throughout life, I always prayed, I always. So for me, when something's going, going, and anybody that knows me will tell you this, I get quiet, I go to God. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just over here just dying. Cause it's like, you painted this picture like you was 12 years old. I was. In the word and God and this. You just skipped the whole fact of you game banging 
fighting up motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, it's like you just making it seem Let's like you was just so like. Okay. You Let's know what I'm saying? No, I was I'm 12 not. years old. I was in the word of Hold God on. and okay. this and that. And it's Hold like, on. really? Hold on. Okay, like, let me really? be clear because he's trying to make you it seem like I'm a liar. Years, Twelve years old. I, I, I don't like that. But if you I, ask my dad, you ask did. my parents, I would ask for scriptures. I asked for a Bible when I was fourteen. That's what I wanted for my birthday, and I would read scriptures. But but let me tell you what happened when I was twelve. This is first of me. On. He was fourteen. Hold wanted hold a on. Bible for your birthday. Hold on. Let me ask yeah. ask my parents. Let me let me tell you what happened to me when I was twelve. So when I was twelve years old. Right. I had a conversation with my brother. My brother thought he was the daddy because my mom was, well, she was married at the time, but it wasn't to our father. Um, he thought he could boss us around. I was 12. He was 16. Right. So my brother hits me in my mouth because I don't want to clean the bathroom, but he doesn't have control over me. He's not my parent. So we get into an argument. And I'm mad and I'm telling my mom because he hit me like he didn't just hit me like he socked me in my mouth. And I told him, hey, you know, I wish you die like I hate you. That was the last conversation I had with my brother at 12 years old. So when we got that call that he died, that messed me up. You know, that messed me up in more ways that I've never even shared it with a lot of people. So when you talk about a 12 year old that is seeking answers from God, that is angry at the world, that feels guilty that she feels like her words may have contributed to her brother's death, top with, my parents are not talking to me about what I'm dealing with. Top with, at 12 years old, I'm trying to figure out how to navigate going into middle school at the same time mourning the death of my brother and trying to figure that all out on top of, my mom being focused on my two older sisters because they're in a inpatient facility because they're suicidal, top with feeling alone and not having no outs. So when you say I was an at-risk youth and I fought a lot and I was angry, yes, I was mad at the world. But in the midst of, I was still seeking God. You see how somebody try to make your story and try to make you seem like this demon kid? Yes, I was hurting and I was going through something and I was still seeking God. So you never sought therapy? At 12 years old, we went to therapy for three weeks as a family. We never went back. But back then, I didn't even know what therapy was. It's not like in today's time that everybody's talking about therapy. That was the first time I've ever even heard of that. Who's talking about, you got to think back then I know. in the nineties, we weren't talking about going to therapy, we, mental health. I don't even think that was a term. I don't even think that was something I heard back then. So how do you, how do you in your mind process what I'm going through? And I think I talked about it two episodes back on the podcast is being resilient. I never had a life where Oh, I'm going to cry and my parents are going to come in. I had to figure it out. So, yes, I was angry. Yes, I fought a lot. Yes, I was dealing with some things that I felt like nobody understood. So, yes, you've seen some behaviors based on what I was dealing with. It was God's plan because that would turn me on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My tragedy was God's <laughs> plan. Wow. Oh. Uh. I'm just saying, I mean, shit, the roughness I like. Mm. So if he was somebody else, it probably wouldn't have worked. I'm so glad you're a grown man now. But moving mm -hmm. on. So um, so I guess she, she was into God at 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was, jokes. it was first to me. I mean, shit. I I just found out you asked for a Bible for your birthday at Ask fourteen. My dad. You I, know was, what I'm I was I was heavy in the word. You never showed you never shared that with me. Okay. I'm about yeah, to tell you, you why you lying. That with me. I'm about to tell you why he's lying. I'm about to tell you why he's lying. Even though I was in the streets, I don't even think I was bad. I fought, but I wasn't like this trouble just going around wrecking havoc. But let, let me tell you why he's lying. Because one of his friends came to my church 
and we got at school and I was like, hey, I know you. Didn't I see you at church? Oh, he, he tried to lie. Shout out to Joseph Maxwell. I'm going to blast your ass here. Yeah, he tried Joseph to deny because he was embarrassed <laughs> in front of them and didn't want to say he was at church. <laughs> he was at church. Nigga. He was like, nah, but that wasn't me. So it really had me tripping. Like, but, am I tripping? But was you, that him? It's a difference of you going to church. I never. Your, let, your whole family, it was a family church. And it's let like, me, let it's me like, tell you this. On, let now. me tell you this. Any of Shit. my friends, anybody I was around, they will tell you God was always in the midst of the conversation. You're not being honest because even with you, God was always in the midst of the conversation. When I didn't live with my dad, I didn't have to go to church. But when we was at your mom's house, I would have you get up with me and go to church. I didn't have to go to church. No one was making me go to church. It didn't feel like church. It felt like a family gathering. Okay. Nobody was making me pray. Nobody was making me see God. I was doing that on my own. So you saying you yes, didn't know that. Was. Okay. okay, so yeah, let's not, you trying to make it seem like not, I'm just acting like. Let's not revoke your church and card. It, and shit. It, and okay, shit. I don't have a church card. I don't care about church attendance. What yeah, I care yeah. about is a relationship with God, though. But this is why I say God judges a man based on his heart because you could see, because most people be like, oh, she's bad. She's a juvenile delinquent. But it, through all that, I was still seeking God. I just didn't hear him as clear as I hear him now. So when he spoke, I didn't know his voice. Because trust me, if I didn't know his voice back then, psh, man, man. Hey, man. She, she was seeking God at 12 years old. I mean, what? I mean, what are you going to go on? I think you forgot you, the topic. You, it's I mean, stressors. Yeah. How do you deal with stressors? I knew you we, forgot the topic. Forget, get the yes, topic. you did. Because <laughs> you said prayers all your stress relievers. I mean, shit. I mean, but okay. My hold stress on, relievers hold on, hold on, hold on, varies hold on. from different type hold of stress. On, hold, like, on, shit. hold on, hold on. Because you keep trying to say that in a way. So you saying I'm lying? What? No, I'm saying yeah, apparently prayer is the stress reliever for everything for you. That's what I'm saying. Because every... Okay, I don't get stressed out a lot though. I don't it has to be something serious. Like I don't really I feel like you I have a peaceful life. You get stressed about this conversation me saying you was in God at 12 years old. That nah, I'm not stressed. <laughs> that that's definitely not something that's going to make me get so what somebody um, says and and you that's Y'all not forgive me. I'm just poking out. at her because she's very sensitive when it comes to her and her God. I'm not sensitive. I just don't like, play when it comes yeah. to God. Like I don't, I don't listen. A lot of people want to. A lot of people want to play like they're rich. A lot of people want to just. When it come to God, uh, well, let me backtrack. A lot of people want to put on to portray an image and this and that and and want to be hard and and they want to they want to remove themselves from God because being godly is uncool. When being godly is the most coolest thing you can ever do, right? So when it comes to God, I don't play with that. What is godly? Being a child of God. Being a child of God is a lifestyle. It's not church. Oh, I go to church. Oh, I listen to gospel. No, it's character. It's a lifestyle. It's 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 you as a person. When someone sees you, do they do they see God in you? You know, do do you have to talk about God for them to know you're a child of God? I feel like somebody should, you should walk in the room and somebody should know just based on your actions and what you do that they know you're different. They know something is different about you because the God in you. I don't walk around and be like, God, 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 God. But God is going to be a part of my conversation. You know why? Because people talk about what's dear to their heart. That's why people talk about money. They talk about women. They talk about cars. They talk about fame. I talk about God because that's what's near and dear to my heart. I don't care about this superficial stuff. I tell people all the time, I got designer, but I don't care about that. You probably care more about that than I do, and I got it on. Me or the listener? The, a person. Oh, yeah. They probably paying more attention to it than me. I bought it because I like it. But you probably more concerned about it than I am. I don't care about that. I care about God. Yes, y'all. She care. If, if, I care if, about my family. If to see the video, the look in her eye, how many goddamn she really put that message through. She care about God. I, I mean, do. She's like zooming that shit on me, like because I do. Um, like if she give me that the Superman. God um, is you know the unpopular Superman got vote. Them ray, the um, laser beam with his eyes. She nah, there, like, because God is an unpopular vote. 
people was like, it's not cool to be, that's why, to be godly. Like, that's why when he was at school and he told me, I went to church. Like, nah, I was at He did church. do that. He yeah, did do that. Like, I'm not that's about to funny. lie about what I do for God. Like, that's crazy to me. It's funny. God man. is not an embarrassment to me. He was in high school trying to impress me. You didn't give a care when you went to church. That's because God is not the popular vote. It's easy to go with the popular vote. It's easy to look like you got money. It's easy to look like you popping bottles. It's easy to look like you driving a certain car. And it's easy to act like you golly shit. Nah, That's not people like, don't. What are you no, talking about? Like shit, you, it, everybody profess to be a Christian. Profess. Like, you got a lot of professors. Like shit. You have what a lot you? of professors that profess. I agree. That's why I say it's not, it's not what you say. It's a lifestyle. Because your life will tell who you and are. And that's the same category as everything you just mentioned. It's the same thing. Everybody what do you mean? profess to be hard. Everybody yeah. profess to be rich. Everybody, if it's, yeah. but it's it's the action. It's, it's your presence is it's automatic. So it's the same thing. I just thing. said that. You just repeated exactly what I said. Yes, but you left God category out. No, what I'm saying is in society, God is not the popular vote. Shit. It's Bull not. Shit. I, well, I, who? In today's time, with who today everybody runs around and say they. I don't Christian. see. I don't see nobody. I'm a Christian. No, I'm a Christian. I don't see I'm nobody on their tracks talking like, about they, God. They in the club no. talking about I'm a Christian. I don't like, see nobody <laughs> on their tracks talking about in hip hop. Well, Kanye exposed that you can't I, do that I'm, in the contract. No, you you could do what's passionate to you because if if it was passionate to you, you wouldn't sign the contract. So I'm gonna say again, you don't hear nobody. You hear people glorifying bodies. Well, I don't know. Jobs, I, I don't I don't money, know people. popping bottles. You don't hear no one glorifying I don't know God. celebrities in personal lives. I'm, I'm not know, talking I'm about talking that. About listen. Regular people I'm not talking professing listen. to be Christians at, at, at okay. everything. It's very it's, somebody, it's popular. It's, some, it's very popular. No, it's yes it not. is. God is not, it even talks about it in the Bible. God is not the popular vote. People much rather do what people are doing. Okay. Being a child of God is not popular no, in society. I, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Because everybody want to say they're Christian. I'm not talking about you. See, you keep talking. Listen, thing. no, That's no, 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 no. You keep talking about what people are saying they are. I'm not talking about what people are saying they are. I'm talking about people representing God, like really representing God. Yeah. They can say they're Christian every day of the week, it's but the are same they? Thing. No, it's not. When I say your lifestyle, you if really. You, if you walk up okay. to somebody, be like, "Dude, where are you from?" And he says he's sad. He's represented. So when somebody say they a Christian, they representing God. You know, you know what I'm saying. They no. might not be living the lifestyle or and doing the, point. the thing, but they representing it. You're and it's very popular. They're that talking it, about them. Very popular they're that people run around them. and say they're okay, Christian. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I, okay, I'm gonna give you a prime example. I could say I'm married. I could say I'm married, but what I post online, how I pose, what I wear, how seductive I am. That's what's representing if I'm married to you or not. That's to your standards. Oh, I'm done. That's you. Th that's because what represents that, that, I'm that, okay. That person saying they're Christian, they feel like they're representing, they're showing to God. That's is this is your standards. No, you you no, going. I'm representing like, if I'm I'm me going doing, to church no, listen, once, listen, once listen. a month. I'm I, representing I, I'm look, God. Hold on. So you, it's like well, you you can't I'm doing thirst traps on social these media. These are your standards. I got these are Sunil So standards. basically. I'm, I'm selling singleness. I'm not selling marriage. I'm not saying I'm married. I'm not representing being married. I'm representing, I want you to look at my body. And if I want you to look at my body, am I married or am I single? I don't know. I'm lost because I thought we were talking about God. That's my whole point. <laughs> so I can say I'm married, but I'm, I'm, what am I representing? What What am I showing? What am I putting out to the world? You can say you're a Christian all day long, but what are what is your actions in your lifestyle true, representing? True. Okay, they not rep, they, they not putting it out they're not representing. They're not, they're they not is representing. representing. Okay. When somebody hit them up and they say they're Christian, they represent. Okay, we're gonna agree. But, to disagree. but they not they not living the life to the fullest, which they still part of their life because they're not living it to the fullest. We're it's gonna, levels to this shit. We're gonna agree to you disagree. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect that. Because you might be you a baby, baby, said? baby, baby you know Christian what God said? to the you know what I'm saying? There's he, levels he, to he, it. You he don't he don't it. he don't do lukewarm. He will spit you out. You can't straddle the fence. He's either with me or against me. Let's let's pull it up. He don't do lukewarm. He don't he do, do luke. He don't like he eating some. He don't. He don't. Shit. He don't do lukewarm. <laughs> God don't do lukewarm. <laughs> like, come on now, over here making up shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 
But at the end of the day, Hold they on. represent it. And in today's time, Let a lot of people love to say they're Christian. And y'all out there in the world, y'all know, come on, man. People love it. That's the first. Oh, I'm Christian. I'm like. Let's do NIV. Come on now. Let's do, I mean, let's do KJV version. She looking up lukewarm. He don't want his noodles lukewarm. He gonna spit it out. So then, because thou art what verse, so people can look it up. This Revelations three sixteen. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth. You well, either hot or cold. I knew it he ain't, didn't. It ain't, I knew he didn't spit. I knew it. Okay. He didn't say spit. So there is no straddling the fence. It ain't no, no, it's either you with him or you not. But this is a whole, went to, <laughs> we talking about stress. Because she's very passionate about her I God. About I told God. You, see, see how I just triggered her emotions? You didn't trigger me. Yeah, you got to be all, y'all, but, but y'all false flagging that Christ shit. Y'all that's not playing. You want to walk the full walk. So stress reliever. So that apparently prayers is her stress reliever for every single thing. What other is good? What talk other about your stress reliever. You didn't reliever. ask me a question. What is your stress reliever? You know reliever? what I'm saying? So how could I talk about it? It depends on the situation. I like to smoke and relieve my mind. Mellow out. like to have sex and relieve my mind. That's unhealthy. Um, I've told you that. Let's see what else I like to do. Stress reliever. Sometimes I like your to stress, just get in the work. Your, your stress work reliever should shit. never depend on another person, because if you need an, another person to help relieve your stress, that's codependency and that's an unhealthy coping skill. You should be able to self soothe on your own. Damn, that means I can't depend on my weed man. <laughs> oh my god! God damn! Why are you making people think like you just get high every day? <laughs> Oh man, I told him it's my stress reliever. So what? I don't, so apparently, I ain't that stressful. Don't you? You barely smoke. Exactly. I don't be that stressful. That's you don't the be point. that stress. That's yeah, the stressful point. on me. Like you know what I'm saying. So what other? So basically, it's not good to have a codependent to help you relieve your stress. That's bad. No, you shouldn't. I don't ever depend on you to relieve. What do I do? Yes, you do. You come talk to me. Come talk Demetrius. to somebody to help you relieve. You're talking, such talking a through, liar. talking through your problems with somebody is not. It's a stress relieving. Dangerous. You're, 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 you're not telling the truth though. When I'm really, really stressed, I'm not talking okay. about when I'm now irritated. Of, irritated when is I'm part pressed, of stress. That's not stress. Irritation is not stress. No. Oh shit! Get out of here. The, irritation is not stress. When stress is like, I'm really like trying to figure this out. This is really, something may bother you in the moment. Stress, and that's what I'm saying is different levels of stress. No, because it's I, not. I, irritation to me not, is a part that, of stress. That's you, not you, stress. You, you irritating me, you're stressing me the fuck out. That's that's the same thing of stress. Irritation, me. irritation doesn't linger. If somebody keep irritating you, that's, irritation that's you, you, doesn't, you working my irritation nerves. Irritation doesn't linger. Irritation works the nerves. Okay. Stress you, works the irritation nerves. Irritation is not, irritation is a moment of, a moment thing that's in that moment and it doesn't last not even longer than 30 minutes or an hour. When I'm stressed, what do I do? Cause I don't talk to you. The last time I was stressed, I go in the room, turn off the lights. And that sounds unhealthy. <laughs> you just said you can't be codependent on your stress. How am I codependent? You dependent on God. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shit. You gotta be <laughs> that's the, that's the you you telling me you depending on somebody else to work you out your stress. You just said you can't do that shit. <laughs> you gotta be joking. Are you jo yes. <laughs> like? Are you joking? You gotta be joking. Like you can't be for real right now, right? I'm not gonna even debate that that like that point with you. You can have it because you have it, to be joking. Exactly. It's you, like do you, the you, do the do the do the the, 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 the circus. Like, no, huh. the circus because like, that that's a circus act. Like, like that was a circus. You gotta be joking. You say that that's being codependent. You you depending oh. <laughs> on God to, to, to drive to solve your problems, relieve your stress. Now you, you, you tell me I'm a lie. You ain't looking for God to relieve your stress. Oh 
my god. Oh. Yes. Exactly. Codependent. You can't do that. You just said that. You can't do that. <laughs> you laughing, but I'm dead serious. <laughs> like shit. I can't breathe. That's and that's oh what I'm saying. Goodness. People want to use stuff that oh benefits them. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So if I, my thing is, are you serious? If you could use Wait. God, oh, I, I could use breathe. you. Oh, I Bottom line, breathe. I cannot breathe. You cannot possibly compare me to God. You gotta be joking. It's like is same, this a joke? It's the same cat. You, you just, I know you joking right now. You codependent. You codependent. <laughs> what if God's not there? What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do? Serious? You know what I'm saying? God is always there. He's omnipresent. And my wife is always there. No, I'm not. Like I could be at the office. <laughs> I could be God is omnipresent. Like he's 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 here all the time. Like you you gotta be joking. I couldn't even take you serious with that one. Like, are you But that is codependency. You could de- find a definition of codependency. That's that's falls in that category. You can never be codependent on God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that don't even make sense. Yeah. I'm not gonna even entertain that. A lot of people um is codependent on God at church. They they just waiting for the blessings to fall out and they don't want to put the work in. That's called codependent. Demetrius, I'm not let's talk about stress because I'm not gonna even entertain that. Okay, stress. That's, You're I mean, talking we, about we, we, codependent it's, it's, on God. You're supposed to be codependent on God. Like what do you mean? You're supposed to be dependent on God. So you can't be codependent to your spouse? No, that's unhealthy. <laughs> and it's like you so serious it's like it's unhealthy you in a relationship with god that's the same shit no it's not it so, is so not. do you think so so let's not even take it down a little deeper so you think it's all right that you don't talk to your husband go lock yourself in the room and go talk to god shouldn't you go talk to your husband okay let me ask you this let me ask you this do you have all the answers Yes. No, you don't. Now you yes. playing. I want you to be no, serious. No, I got all the answers. No, you, you don't. You just don't listen to me. Listen, listen. Listen to, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. You have cracked the code that you have all the answers to life. Yes. <laughs> you just never asked the right questions. <laughs> What's so fucking funny? It's like shit. It's like... <laughs> I can't take this conversation. Because it's you, you're not, you're not, you're, you're not, not being listening. serious. I, I'm, it's I'm dead serious. No. You just because you don't want to take it. You, you just sit oh here and say, "I don't talk to my husband. I go lock myself in the room and talk to a, 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 to go talk to another man in my bedroom." <laughs> like, rarely, <Okay. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even, you don't even come to okay. me to let me now try to mad, help you and smooth you, mad, you out. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't even give no, me an listen, opportunity. Listen, listen, like, listen, baby, listen, it's going to be listen, all right. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Listen, let's listen, let's listen, go pray listen, together. Listen, you know what I'm saying? No, listen, it's like, listen, leave listen, him downstairs. Listen, I'm going to go do listen, my thing. Listen, now you playing. Now, now you sitting here playing. And it ain't even funny because the viewers can't see you. So it's not even funny. Like, can we be for real? Like, stop playing. What, how would you because but you just you, sitting you, here you, playing you thinking I'm playing but then I tell you years ago I was I had we had an issue because I felt like you was in a relationship with God and you just left me on the back burner type shit we talking about I didn't have a relationship with God I had a relationship with the church which was unhealthy church God it was nah, all the same in my category it's not the same I had a, I had a unhealthy relationship with the church meaning I devoted all my time to things surrounding a building i didn't have a relationship but look at it now let's 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 you gotta look at it so you're stressing your spouse is stressing they won't share with their spouse they go lock their self up why do you keep go, saying lock yourself up well, hold on hold on but pause, what i'm saying pause, you don't think that's a pause, problem no, like listen i, I see you listen, go to your spouse first and they don't have listen, the answers then you're gonna go listen, to the next step listen listen you said when you're stressed you gonna smoke weed, right? You know, I always ask you want to smoke with me, babe. <laughs> don't, 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 don't let me go there because I'd be no, like, babe, you, you want to smoke with me? No, you don't. Now you be you like, nah, you know, I don't smoke. I can't even take this podcast I don't be serious. Like, you want to smoke? No, with me? you oh, don't. Shit. Why are you sitting here lying? You try on. to sneak it and put it. But in I my do book. something like, babe. You no, smoke you, with me? Demetrius. And why this are is you? like, okay, this okay, is I, this is me trying to go go stress and ask and do my spouse want to participate in my stress reliever. 
Demetrius, you, know you only knew what I was about to say is why you, you <laughs> it's annoying because you're not and, taking and, this and conversation seriously. You just serious. proved my point. I know everything. You just asked me, do I know everything? <laughs> you just admitted that I do. That's my oh, point. Oh my goodness. I don't know what you got into tonight. This is our third podcast for tonight. And all of a sudden he didn't have no energy. Now he just jump into this because you sitting here lying. You would because not I'm ask pulling me. Valid, I'm, no, I'm, I got valid points and I'm know, coming with them. No, you knew what I was going to say. So you try to flip it. I'm all knowing. Not near ever I'm all do knowing. you ask me. I'm all knowing. <laughs> and that's why you need to come to me when you stress. Because okay. I'm all knowing. Demetrius, why? Can we have a serious yes, conversation? You won't no, because you keep joking and I'm not joking. So, okay. If a no. client if a client came in to you oh, and be my like, goodness. I'm always stressed and, and it's like Demetrius, my wife don't come talk to me. Demetrius, she just go and you and, keep and, joking. And, you keep joking. When you go do whatever you're doing for your stress reliever, not ever do you say, Come drink with me. Okay. Come smoke with me. Come do what you are not gonna ask me that. Hold you on. do that when by I'm having sex, ain't you involved with it? I'm done. You you're participating <laughs> in done. my stress relieving activities. I'm done. I I let you join in. There's just you don't have sex when you're stressed. Why are you Be, sitting here lying there. and playing? Like it's not even funny okay, anymore. Okay, let's, let's let's stop. Let's yeah, because you you sitting here playing. So do you don't see nothing wrong with a person skipping their spouse and going somewhere else for their stress reliever? You don't. It, it's all right not to give them the opportunity to help you out with your stress. So if I say. Cause I do. Let's pray. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, exactly. Okay. But exactly. You, but that's what my do you point. Say? You giving me the opportunity what you, though. What do you, you say? giving me an opportunity. What do you say? What do you? What do you? I don't pray. I don't. They pray. You pray. I, I'll. I'll sit here. But you. But uh, you giving what do you me. Say? But that you giving me the what opportunity. Do you say? And that's all I'm saying. Give the person an opportunity. That's all. Give them opportunity. I cannot with you. I cannot. You, oh, you played throughout this podcast. Why are you trying to challenge me? This is what I get annoyed. Like, because you keep playing and you keep trying to challenge me and saying stuff that you know that don't even happen. What don't you? You said you you strain your stress. We talking about your stress. You this said every time story. you go smoke, you ask me to smoke. Not every time, but when, I, when, when I'm when's stressed. When's the last time you've ever asked me to stressed, smoke? When I'm stressed, be like, you? babe, you want to smoke? Why are you lying? I don't ask you that you don't want to smoke. When's the last time you asked me to smoke with you? I don't know. I don't keep tabs. Because you don't. I, so stop. Lying. I smoked in a minute. Dangerous. Okay. Have you have you asked me this year to smoke with you? Mm, I don't know. I, don't, I got bad memory. You a liar. I got you, bad memory. No, because you know where I'm going with it. Because you're lying. I got bad memory. You don't ask me that because you know I'm not going to do that. So why are you sitting here lying? Just like, why am I going to say, dude, just come pray with me? Because you never know that it might be that day. Everything change. It might. Because exactly. I, I pray that it does. And I do the same thing. I'll pray that it does too. <sighs> <laughs> like, I cannot. Like, this whole because podcast you, is. That's what I'm saying. You never know. It'd be that day. It'd be like, okay, I'm with it today. And that's why you ask. Can we be serious? I am serious. This is you don't want to accept that I'm serious. You take it as a, a joke for a matter. I'm serious. If you stressing, give me the opportunity to solve your stress out. So then I'm going to ask you to be the head and pray. That doesn't so Talking about your stress. Look. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. You don't even know what to say. You got tongue tied. Okay. Exactly. Well, let's move on. So no other things you do for stress. What 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 should people do? Because if they don't talk to God, you can't be codependent on other stress relievers. What's Because it's like the... This is December and the New Year's is like the biggest stress months of the year what is, what is uh, uh and you said not talking to people because you can't depend on it so it's like i didn't say you shouldldn't talk to people that's not what i said you asked me what was my stress reliever i think having a support team is a great stress reliever to basically have people that will pour into you i think you need to try that's just not my go-to i don't see the need to go to because at the end of the day you don't have all the answers trey what's his name what was his name? You don't have an answer, Sway. You. 
So it's like at and, the end of the day, see, look, I'm and, going and, where they got the answers. And, and look, and she keeps poking at me because she said, <laughs> I don't have all the answers. The same thing Kanye told Sway, he don't got all the answers. And what, seven to 10 years later, he's like, Sway had all the answers. Demetrius have all the answers. No, you don't. This is what I'm trying to tell her. Demetrius have I'm all the answers. Where, I'm going where the answers is given and she where just the ain't answers. ready to hear my it's answers. It's like at the end of the day, why am I bypassing and having a conversation with if I'm with you and this person, this person, if you keep talking about it? Not nah, like if, okay, the way you probably going to get the conversation if it happens in the moment and I'm frustrated, but like when I'm really stressed, I really get quiet and get before God because at the end of the day, I'm looking for answers. I'm not looking just to talk, just to make you make me feel good. I want to know what is it that I need to do to solve the problem, whether if it's me, if I need to fix me, if it's a strategy, if it's something I'm not seeing, I'm not doing, but I need to know to correct it. All jokes aside, I really don't care about her prayer closet anyways. That's what I'm saying. So, But look, we've been in this podcast 35 minutes. In 35 minutes, you've been playing, and that's what I was saying. I've been playing. I just know you're very sensitive with God, like I said earlier. I'm not, so what do you mean? It triggers you. You go on. You It's like you get in that like protected mommy mode type <laughs> shit. <It's> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> the protective mommy mode. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, man. I don't like when people disrespect God. No, it's the so same funny. way I don't like when people disrespect it's so my love. It's like it's disrespecting God to me. It would be equivalent to disrespecting somebody I love. Yeah, it's the same thing. So when I feel like, you know, the, the converse is like, let's let's stop playing with God. And that's what she do. Y'all see prime example. Yeah, I don't think there is anything wrong with that. She has a love affair with God. I don't it's not an affair. Mm-hmm. If he taking my time, that's his shit. When do God take? Let me tell you something. He taking my time. God is never going to take your time. Mm-mm-mm. God is not going to drive a wedge between you and your mate. That doesn't even make sense. It serves no purpose. I that's not God. I think this is, we got to rename the podcast as Sania um, Stress Reliever or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's all about you and God. You made it about that. On and on and on playing. You asked me a question. I answered the question, and you took that and you ran with it. Ran all the way. Like, we can uh, scrap this and do a whole other podcast. We ain't scrapping this. See, he's quantity, not quality. Yeah, we ain't scrapping this. This is good content. Because there it? might be somebody else out there that goes straight to God and, and not their mate. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, all jokes aside. Now, let's just all jokes aside and being all serious. You should want your mate to go to God because if your mate is going to God, they can't lead you wrong. If they're really hearing God and trusting God and walking in God, like God is never going to lead you the wrong way. We're people with flaws. We're all flawed. I'm going to keep saying that. So when we're, we're, we're leaning on our own understanding and we're talking to people that may mean well, but don't have the answer, it still may not be the answer. So God should always be the first choice to go to when you're going through something because God is never going to lead you wrong. Yeah, I agree because I gave her some bad advice. Exactly. Because Sway don't know the answers. At this moment. Well, um, there are your dogs again. Who let the dogs out? All right, so, Sunia, um, you ain't giving people no good advice about handling this um, stress relievers. Oh, okay. It was all about you. but You um, asked me a question. So, there's yeah, many that ways. That was goddamn what forty minutes ago. And you kept playing. Like and good, you, you, kept... you stretched that all out, all about no, you. Like you... damn, I asked you a question forty minutes ago, and we still on. You it. kept playing. So, in the ways to, to to basically relieve stress, you can work out. You know, you could journal. My my first love is poetry. And as a matter of fact, that's actually how I dealt with the death but of my brother. What are, you can, can go people jogging. get obsessed? What? Can you get what? You what's the problem? No more tips pe- about yeah, because no, because you say work out. I see people work out. Okay, it started off with stress, but then they come obsessed with it. Anything that doesn't have a balance can be too much. Everything in life should be balanced. Everything. If you do too much of anything, it's unhealthy. Too much eating. Too much sex. Too much driving. Too much working out. Too much talking. Too much working. If if too much working, um, everything should become a balance. It should be a balance. A act. balance of what, though? To who? To like, 
Because if I'm single, what am I balancing shit out to? Your health, your time, your mental state. I don't care if you're single, you shouldn't be working more than you're enjoying life. It should be a balance. You should have fun, you should work. So balance is key. Life is a balancing act. You shouldn't be doing too much of anything. Everything should be a balance because then something is off balance if it's too much of something. The scale should never tip more than one way. Sometimes it does because we have to because of the weight we have to pull and the load we have to carry. But life should be a balance and act for a healthy life. You know, you work hard, you should play hard. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be at the gym all day long, right? Because then what else is lacking? Something is going to lack when you put all so your you time over, into one thing. Oh, yeah. you overdoing something. Something's comes lacking. Yeah. So it should be a balance. But there's many ways you can relieve stress, you know? And I'm not saying not to go talk to your friends. I'm just saying that's not what I do. But if that works for you, I think you should do what works for you as long as it's healthy. As long as it's healthy and it works, do it. But it shouldn't require another person. Like if every time you going through something, you got to pick up the phone and call somebody or you got to go and talk to somebody, that's a problem. I came in this world without my husband. I'm leaving this world without my husband. That's why I think it's important to teach babies to self-soothe and not always give them a bottle or a pacifier because you're teaching them to problem solve at an early age. You should never be that dependent on a person when you're going through something. You should be able to get alone and figure it out. My getting alone is getting with God because Sway, he got all the answers. So you should be able to do things to help you regulate your emotions so that you could be okay and you could be at peace. Like I said, if every time I had a problem and I come through the door, bang, he may not be here one day. And and, and then what am I going to oh, do? I probably just don't want to hear this shit. He may not want to hear it. He, he, whatever the case may be. So you should never be dependent on a person to help solve your problems. That's unhealthy. So no, I don't pick up the phone. I don't because that's unhealthy. And again, for me, you can make me feel good. You could tell me what I want to hear, but that's not solving my problem. Hey man, give you a coin on that. She, she gets a coin on that. She got a lot of coins in these past episodes. I don't even really feel like I scratched the surface of if you really want to get technical. You don't want to hold him back. Shit. You trying to give him a little sprinkle? Sprinkle like, me, baby. The people out here hungry and you playing with them and shit. Because like, you keep playing. Dangling the burger around them and shit. Like, they ain't want to eat this. No, but seriously, in life, do what's healthy for you. <laughs> Stop trying to be like the Jones. Do what's healthy for you. you know, in every category in life, from your, your job to your marriage to your dating life to your kids. What works for you, why not works for the next motherfucker? Stop trying to be like the people you're watching on Instagram. That's Ooh. a whole podcast within itself. We can actually get on that right now about people watching people on social media and trying to live their life or thinking everything is real and mimicking what other people are doing and becoming depressed based on what they think is real and some what's happening in somebody well, that, else's life. That falls in the same category, depression. Stress? Like, stress and depressed. I mean, what do you say that's hand in hand? You start getting stressed, you might fall in depression. I if, think so. If, if you don't, if you, the only way you can go into depression, again, if you don't manage your stress. And that's why I think it's important to have, you know, coping skills to manage your stress. Because if you don't, it can lead to other issues. You got to find some activities, too. Um, like what? Um, I, um, some hobbies. I mean, those are good ways to, to try to detour you from getting falling into deep depression is, is hobbies. Garden. Do some gardening shit. Plant some plants. Um, go to the shooting range. Fishing. You know, hobbies really work. You find yourself sitting at home alone in the dark. Nothing on TV. I like, let me tell you something. We ain't it, talking about you. No. It's all but, about no, you. No, yeah. no. But I do got to say this. I, I do have to say this. Because if you can't be alone with you, that's a pro. I love to be alone. You could be home. alone with you, but your thoughts could get you in a depressed mode. Again, healthy coping skills. The thing, we could control our thoughts. We just let our, we're lazy thinkers. We just let our thoughts control us. We don't control it. 
you know what? You said, do I have all the answers? Apparently, you got all the damn answers. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. Like, what the fuck over here? Let like, me go get something She to got all go the ahead. answers. Well, like, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> Want to tell me I don't have all the answers? <laughs> I guess God gave her all the fucking answers. You know what I'm saying? Because she just know no, everything. Like I don't know everything. Shit. And I'm always a work in progress. And I love to learn and grow. But I'm saying you have to be okay with being with you. And I'm, I'm saying with you, sometimes when you be with you, them thoughts creep in. And you get in depressed mode. And you know what I'm saying? And then you're in a whole different other and level. And that's when you get up. And you go do something and you get out and you take a walk and you go hang out with some friends. And that's why I said hobbies. Comedy. Yeah. Hobbies. Yes. That's what I was saying. But you switched the lane up like how you love to be by yourself in, in, in your mind. No, that's not what I said. What I'm saying is. what? OK, this is what I'm saying. I will watch and people have a problem with being like COVID. When everybody had to sit down, the divorce rates were high. Because people got to see really what it was to be alone by themselves or with the people they so-called love. So many times when a person is by themselves, their self, they'll say they're bored. How are you bored and you're by yourself? You spending time with you. You loving on you. And so I'm saying you shouldn't, you should be okay with being with you. I'm not talking about if you're depressed alone with your thoughts. Obviously, if you're depressed and you're in that mental state and you're alone with your thoughts, you do need to get up and do something. I tell my clients that all the time. I tell myself that. If I'm in a space where my thoughts are get, I'll get up and get out. I'll go do something. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about basically being okay with being with you. But how long? It's okay. I could be okay with being with me. I'm not saying for all a, a couple hours. And then it's like, damn, I'm bored. Oh, well, you need to I'm figure bored. that out, partner. What I need to go do? You need to figure that out. Mm, let me go find my wife. Well, well, that's the reason why you have a mate. <laughs> like, that's, I mean, you're not supposed to want to be alone every day, all day. Because, again, anything that's, that's too much is, is unhealthy. There's no balance. So if you in a marriage... And you basically like, oh, I could be alone every day, all day. Then I question what type of marriage you in. And you probably shouldn't be married to the person you married to. That's different. But you should have some time for you. And be okay with having time for you. With you. So we're going to wrap this one up because I'm the boss. And, um, wow. He he know all. The, he got all the answers. All Sway the got answers. all the answers, Sway. <laughs> That's just so you funny. Got- I wish I had that sound bit to put it in <laughs> You ain't got all the answers. <laughs> you know, that's classic. That's oh, classic. Oh, shit. Shout out to Sway. Cause that that was classic. Sway got even laugh at that. That was funny. Sway didn't make that shit. Kanye I made know, that shit. But Shout even, out to Kanye. He, he made that shit. But he was telling him he didn't have all that. I wouldn't even be offended, but it was funny to me. If I would have been laughing. That's like a classic moment. That remind me of the moment when I Alan Iverson was like, practice. Practice. <laughs> We talking about practice. Every time I see that, I laugh. We talking about practice. Practice. We talking about practice. That that was funny. It reminds me of a moment like that. Those moments, like those, are classics. Like it's just funny every time I hear. It. Well, hopefully, somebody could take a moment out of this sound bit and make it a moment. A sound bite. Yeah. So wrap it up, Sunir. <sighs> Y'all ready for my vocals? I'm going to sing this out. No, I ain't going to be chopping and editing this shit up. <laughs> shit. It, it, it is nah, I'm about to get my vocals. I can really sing, y'all. Until next time, continue to break cycles.